Oh, okay. I was not... Uh-oh. I was not expecting it to one-shot these guys. Oh, my God. It just hit 2.1 bill. What a fucking Eximus unit. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, that's, that's without a primer. That's without a primer or any debuffs or anything. That was just wrong. 74 mil. 2.7 mil. 2.1 bill. <laughs> uh, the big number funny. Okay, the gaff can hit it as well. With just a normal build, she can hit 2.1 bill. Uh -oh. Yo, what it do, guys? Now, today's video is going to be just a little bit different. Hopefully, you saw from the clip or two that I posted in earlier. Um, this weapon absolutely slaps. Normally, I would be editing to this, but I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of editing here, and I'm going to admit it, I'm lazy. So, I'm going to be doing more of like a live kind of session here, if you will. So, if you're not used to this, I normally do this on my Twitch, but here we are on YouTube. We're going to be doing it here. Now, anyways, Clark, you're yapping. Yes, I realize I am. So, let's go ahead and just get straight to the point. Let's go and talk about Harmony, Jade's weapon, and how I overlook this weapon and how I will not overlook it anymore and I don't want you guys to overlook it either so that's what I'm here for all right so first things first harmony what we want to go and do is realize that well we're going to start off by realizing it's a scythe weapon okay now it's similar to like hate but it's kind of the opposite so if you do see the same skin uh, I, I did a TikTok and you might have seen the clip or whatever and people are like oh my god that's hate it's not hate it's harmony I'm just using a different skin okay this is the enlightened skin that you can get on jade shadows um but this is literally just all I've got there all right so anybody can go and get that skin for free now when it comes towards harmony what we want to go and know about it is unlike the other sites it has a unique passive key and the way that that passive works is heavy attacks condense all status effects that deal damage over time into a single instance now we've seen this before but not in a weapon not that i'm aware of at least not in a melee weapon that i'm aware of either um but there are abilities such as the helmet infusion ability which is called expedite suffering uh, where you can go and convert things like slash and whatnot into more of like a set of weightings because the slash take is like six seconds long and it does like six ticks um, you basically consume it and nuke it right there and then well that's basically what this is doing it's also like dante's vinyl first as well um so we're going to be basically putting status effects on the enemy but basically consuming them with harmonic resonance in a heavy attack so it's going to be a heavy attack build furthermore any kills that we go and get with the heavy attack will also increase our status duration by 30 percent, and that actually is important as well but we'll get to that a little bit later when we mod this weapon and you'll see what it's like so keep that in mind. Now, another thing to go ahead and say about size and what's so interesting about them is, and I'm going to go and take a different uh, weapon here, is I'm going to go and take uh, Reaper Prime as my scythe. So I shouldn't have a build on this one. Excellent. And if I go heavy attack melee, or melee heavy attack over here, if I go do this on a heavy gunner unit and I go, bum, what you'll see is that you see one number hit, and then you just see like the normal kind of ticking in the background. Now, first of all, this is what we call a forced or a, an innate slash proc. It basically means anytime that I heavy attack, I'm going, well, that was lucky because I got two there, but that's a status chance, but I'm always going to get one innate slash attack. So it's a, it's a forced proc is what we call it, right? And that will always happen with a, uh, I got really lucky that I got, kept getting two, but there you go, there's one. I, it will always happen with scythe weapons, always. Now there are some other weapons that also do this, but just remember that scythes, when you heavy attack with them, will always do a slash proc. Now that's great. Second thing is, you'll also notice that it always knocks the enemy down as well. And that's gonna be important for something a little bit later. So remember that, there's two factors there. Whenever I heavy attack, I'm always guaranteeing a slash proc and I'm always knocking them down. Now Harmony's a little bit different there, right? Um, you're gonna see like some Harmony builds in a second, so don't worry. But even if you pause it right now, that's gonna mean nothing to you until I get to it, I promise, all right? So let's go and take this empty config here. And now we're going to do the same thing, but with harmony. Okay. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to go and hit this enemy and boom. And then that's it. You see how the enemy goes down. Now, what you will go and notice is there was two numbers there. So when I first hit, oh, I missed. When I first hit, 
there's two numbers. We had the 475 at the bottom, and then we had the 5.7K at the top. You'll always notice one of the numbers is orange as well. So what Harmony is actually doing is I'm hitting it with the initial damage, and then the second number at the top that you're going to see there, the orange number, that's always Harmony converting and consuming all of the slash ticks that it would do into one big burst number, okay? But you see on the other sides, I won't get that. I'll hit them, and then we got to wait for the slash ticks. You can see how Harmony is now changing this. So what's even more important about this as well, and like how I said about uh, size in general, is um, there's a new melee arcane that also came out with Jade Shadows, which is called Melee Afflictions. And the way that Melee Afflictions works is, is that enemies affected by status effects gain six additional stacks when they're knocked down or flung, basically ragdolled, suspended, knocked down, whatever, okay? Now this is actually interesting, and this can work on quite a few different things. For example, it can still work through like Overguards, but I don't think it can work against like a Juggernaut. If something's actually immune to Ragdoll, it won't work, period. But if something's not really so much immune to Ragdoll, but it's got a layer protecting it from Ragdoll, again, like an Overguard, it can still just basically ignore that. It's a, it's a weird, weird mesh. It takes a little bit of testing for you to understand it, but hopefully I broke that down as quick as possible. But my point is, this is fantastic, considering the fact that we can go ahead and innately guarantee a slash proc, just innately, which now means we'll get an extra six slash procs, and Harmony will consume all of those six slash procs. So one more time, if I do it here, there's 106k. Now, I don't have anything on the weapon. That's pretty damn good. Whoops, that's pretty damn good. And if you do hit particular body parts as well, if I try and hit like a headshot, we would get a much bigger multiplier there as well. There's like 48k, that's fine. So you can see the 106k, I might have actually got the headshot multiplier there. Um, now, if we go ahead and do... This is what I mean by editing this. It was a nightmare going back and forth. So hopefully you guys are still with me here. If we go back to Reaper and then we go and put afflictions on Reaper, you can see just how different this is as well. And we go over here. And we go and hit this enemy. So there we go. So you see, this, see the eight slash ticks there? Hopefully you guys can see that right at the top. Yeah, Harmony's not obviously doing that because Harmony's consuming all of that to go and give us an extra number. There we see one number followed by the slash ticks. Harmony's not doing that. So, back to Harmony. Now, we will stay on Harmony for the rest of the video now, okay? Right. So, now what we want to go and do is actually build the weapon itself and actually go and give it something. So, there's a few different ways to go and do this. <laughs> I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it because uh, there's been someone's been sharing like a few of my builds and it's just like that you're not saying it in context so i need to go over it in context i'm sorry i do right let's go over it okay so start off with first things first we're just going to put a stance mod on there now the stance mods are not really important to the build same kind of goes with the uh, tano kai stuff here if you've got room chuck it in if you don't have room leave it out all right now in this case like i said it doesn't really matter i'm not typically like looking for combos i'm just heavy attacking so i'm mostly taking this to increase my capacity that's basically about it all right now, obviously, we have the melee afflictions. If you can go and get this arcane, please go do so. It is incredibly important to what we are doing. And obviously, remember the passive. Now, from here, like any other build, we're going to start off with a form of damage. Now, there's a few different ways to go and do form of damage here. We can start with prime pressure point. What does this do? As you guys can read here, but in case there's anybody who's new to like Warframe, I'm going to still try and explain it to help you guys. This is basically raw damage. As in, like, if you're doing like heavy attack builds, if you're looking to hit as hard as possible right there and then, as, as it stands right now, Prime Pressure Point is the highest that we can go ahead and chuck on. Now, there is scaling that we can go and chuck on, which is condition overloads, which as you see is not exactly 165, it's actually 80, and it's per status type effect on the target. Now, I won't lie to you, this weapon is so incredibly strong, you don't need this unless you are gonna level cap, and I'm not even exaggerating. I can't believe, as soon as I start trying to primer with this weapon, we won't see the billions because we're doing so much damage, I'm not exaggerating, we're doing trillions. If Warframe wasn't capped right now, this weapon would be hitting, with the multiplier, give or take, we've gone through all of the math, about nine trillion damage. Give or take, it's around that with a 445,000 or 4,500 multiplier. It's crazy, and I'm not, again, I'm not exaggerating. So, 
we got damage we got damage or there's another one that you can go and use here if you want to you can also go and use kill and blow which one of the three should you take it, it really just depends on how you want to go to mod it personally i would take the prime pressure point because i'm just looking for raw damage straight off of the bat or kill and blow you sacrifice the damage for heavy attack wind up speeds so the wind up of the weapon is a little bit quicker whenever you heavy attack with a weapon it has two animations the first animation is the wind up the second animation is the attack speeds so as it's winding up you can speed that part up with particular mods as it then unleashes that part is sped up with attack speeds you can test it you'll see what i mean it's got two different forms of making the weapon actually animate quicker in this scenario here this is the wind up to get straight to the point so that we can dps all right so naturally though like i said for this for this video for this purpose we're going to be using prime pressure point all right, I feel like I'm yapping. I'm sorry if I am. I'm going to try and keep, keep getting to the point. Up next, I'm going to go and do some quality of life, which is reach. Okay, I want to try and reach enemies a little bit further away from me so I don't have to stay directly on top of them. But do also keep in mind that, again, it's more of a single target build. What does that mean? This basically means that this stat here, I don't like it as much as what you guys do. If you don't know what this stat basically means is as soon as I hit one target, I do full damage. The next target, I'm doing less damage. The next target after that, I'm also doing less damage. It's a bit of a weird thing because like punch through in this game doesn't on like um primaries and secondaries punch throughs in this game doesn't get diminishing returns when it hits multiple enemies but melee does i think it's just going to go and stop what meta used to be in the past with its whole melee meta spin to win kind of stuff it's not been the same since then but yeah you basically get less damage even if you completely cleave through the first enemy the second enemy will receive less damage it, it's a it's a weird stat anyways my point is we still take this for quality of life it's still good we're still going to be using it i mean if you want more damage you could take it out but i wouldn't now right up next we're gonna go with sacrificial steel now out of all of the criticals because we do want criticals in general we want critical chance there are things like blood rush there are things like um you see down here melee uh critical chance per combo multiplier like down there you can go and get those sets in uh or even like true steel which is a smaller version of sacrificial steel that's 120 that's 220 you can go ahead and throw those things in ideally though again you're looking to not build up combo counter you're looking to hit as hard as you can as part as hard as possible in one hit as you can and sacrificial steel is basically your best one that you can get there unless you can get riven but the disposition of this weapon is quite low so ribbons are not going to be fantastic here anyways you can still take them um but that is now going to double 220 percent is now going to be 440 percent okay so it's a big increase right there whenever we heavy attack keep that in mind all right so that's our critical chance done up next we need critical damage now you can do this in a few different ways as well there's basically amalgam organ shatter or in this case there's organ shatter all right as you can see i can't equip both of them i've got to equip one or the other the difference between them is that this one offers quality of life similar to kill and blow offered quality of life for the melee damage like i got less melee damage but i got the wind up this one gives me wind up as well but i get five percent less critical damage it's still good i mean i still want that quality of life in the same way i want quality of life here so i'm going to stick with the amalgam organ shatter but there is another mod i will be using in this build that also gives me heavy attack wind up speeds and uh, you'll see here you do actually get Get diminishing returns with the heavy attack wind up speed it's 1.99 seconds if i put 60 percent on that 1.99 it's 1.25 if i put another 60 percent it's only 0.91 so yeah it's up to you like you can stop at 1.25 if you want to because like i said you're kind of sacrificing other areas so my point is here either take amalgam organ shadow or organ shadow because the next the next Thing that we put in is gonna lower this as well or well, not the next thing the thing after that right after this we're gonna basically want um double dipping and faction mods now this, this is multiplicative and uh, multiplicative damage to damage right so basically it's gonna help scale it's really really good we want it pop it in okay but more importantly is that faction mods double dip so the damage that we end up doing with this will make our slash text basically deal twice as much damage okay i don't know if i can try and show you a little bit as i'm doing this now faction mods do also require you to play against that faction which is why some people don't like using them i get it i respect it you know you're gonna have to keep changing it depending on what faction you're going on me personally i'm normally always fighting the oricon i might be fighting the murmur if i'm doing some end game stuff or i might be fighting the grenier it's very rare that i'm fighting the infested for any reason and it's very rare that i'm fighting the corpus for any particular reason so for what it's worth faction mods don't really bother me because i can leave them on the oricon and i can leave them on grenier and the odds are i'm going to get away with it in most of the content that i'm doing 
doing anyways enough yapping straight to the point if i go in here here okay i hit way too many there oh it's harmony so i'm not gonna go and see the double dip oh well we're gonna have to pay attention to the orange here so this is how you know we're doing it live so 581k but it might be different on this one or well, this 28 mil which is not great because that's not what i'm trying to show you my point is it does double dip in <laughs> This is how you know we're doing it live, all right? So if I now go and pop this in, and now go ahead and hit, we would we would see much higher numbers than that 28 mil. Um, if I can go ahead and do this. There's 1.9. There's 3.3. That's the wrong attack. There's 2.2. It's 3.9. Now I'm not going to get headshot monitor. There's 72 mil, okay? So my point is it would do more than the 32 mil. It just depends where I'm hitting them on their body. Again, this is great that I'm doing it live so you can see, you know, there's no bullshittery here. We're, we're, we're trying to show you how it all works, okay? You need to understand where everything is coming from, how many numbers are on the screen, how it all works, so forth, right? So now we go and chuck that in. Now our slash is dealing basically double the amount of damage. Now we can also kind of do a little bit more here, and this is where it gets really weird. Not Normally, what I would be doing is because I'm going against like the likes of Oricon here, um, I can also go ahead and put in something like Viral, but this is where I'm wrong, okay? So you don't put Viral in. But when I put Viral in, if I hover over Viral, it now has a 1.5 times damage to Oricon for the damage uh, efficacy, which basically means it's like a damage vulnerability. So I'm going to be doing an extra 50% here as well. It's good, it is good, but that's not what I'm looking to do because I can actually get more damage by just not running this. Slash does not need this, all right? So this is where it gets weird. We're going to put in Last and Sting. The Last and Sting increases our status duration by 110%. Also, keep in mind, if I do get a heavy kill, it's an extra 30% there as well. So it's technically 140% that the Slash tick is going to increase by. Now, to round this down and just to kind of make this more simple, what am I actually doing? If a Slash tick lasts for six seconds, for six ticks, so per seconds, so it's you know, total of six ticks. <laughs> um, this is doubling it. So now I'm getting 12 ticks. But keep in mind, I'm consuming, instead of me consuming six ticks, I'm now consuming 12 ticks, right? But keep in mind, there's an extra 40% here. Also keep in mind that melee afflictions is also generating six additional ticks. And each one of those, uh, each one of those slash, in, in eight slashes that are being forced on them. So if there's se seven slashes, we're doing seven multiplied by 12, or in this case, seven multiplied by 140%. There's a lot of, I know it was over 84 slash ticks is what is being consumed. It's around 84 slash ticks. Um, it's higher than that if I add the extra 40%. Now, I'm not the math wizard. I've never I've never been the math wizard. One of you guys, if you're in chat, do the math for me here, please. Okay, so <laughs> that's going to add a lot more slash ticks. I think it might be close to 100 slash ticks is being consumed, or it's like 90-something. It's one, of, it's one or the other. So a lot of slash ticks is being consumed. Now, what's even more interesting is, and this is what I was talking about with the other... Uh, mod that we're going to be throwing in here is this also gives us heavy attack wind up speed so you see what i mean so you could actually use the organ shatter because you're actually getting like less out of this heavy attack wind up speed but you can get five percent more which actually take me to a 4.2 rather than a 4.1 crit multiplier but we go ahead and throw in the melee elementalist this gives us 90 percent status damage increase basically let's round it up for a second uh those slash takes are now being increased by another 100 percent. so they're doubled again so it's one thing that they're doubled here it's another thing that they're doubled there there's a lot of double triple dipping going on right now which is why it's getting absolutely crazy so from here onwards the build is relatively complete now it really just depends on what you want to do next uh, if you do have a ribbon critical damage um status duration still gonna be good um just even melee damage is still gonna be fine you're gonna have to go for a two buff one curse if you go for a ribbon here it's two buff one curse don't go for a free buff no curses don't go free buff one curse two buffs one curse okay i'll probably go for something like critical damage and so forth but again you're not going to need that you're not going to need it right so what i'm going to go and do next is i'm just going to go ahead and get our overall damage built up by two times on the melee combo just by simply adding this in so when i when i do this and if i hover in the bottom right you see how it's just empty it just says harmony so forth whatever well melee combo counter you can start with more initial if you um if you throw this in i've forgotten what it's called now uh corrupt there it is <laughs> so if i now go ahead and do this it's two times right now let me go and show you my ash real quick so you guys can see this this is just just an ash okay 
now don't get me wrong the the thing that makes ash really nice here is yes i could go ahead and take stealth multiplier which is 700 percent damage increase yes i could go ahead and use the rhino raw you'll notice i have nothing in here that's typically affecting my melee the thing that is kind of doing it though is also there is a passive here which also means that the uh, status effects inflicted do 25 percent increase damage and last 50 percent longer um that is also gonna help all right that is also gonna help another thing that can also help here is um uh, ready ready steel as well where squad begins mission with an extra 24 initial combo so you could end up running that as well if you are running a particular build but let me just show you here on ash as you can see watch i'm not buffing anything this is just ash's passive is the only thing that's going to be helping this build because so i want you guys to go and see this live and just straight raw okay now i may not hit 2.1 build all of the time because i kind of need that headshot multiplier but hopefully we can go ahead and get it here okay <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully we can go and get it here for demonstration purposes so you guys can see. All of this is live. I'm not tampering with anything. I'm just showing you how to go ahead and do it, all right? It's 12 mil, 21 mil, so forth. 21 mil, 21 mil. I mean, 21 mil still not to... It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. 2.1 mil, 665 mil. 21 mil kind of there as well. 21 mil. Did not mean to do that attack. 2.1 mil. 596 mil. Now these these are steel path level 225s. I'm not using the primer. I didn't use Rhino's Raw. There's no buffs at the top that are actually coming through helping me. This isn't helping me. This isn't helping me unless I use an ability. This is pure weapon plus ash passive. Now there's a few other frames that you can go and do this with as well. We were trying, we were trying the likes of um Calervo. I'll show you my Calervo. This is the one that was on the TikTok video as well. But as you can see here, no wonder I am hitting it when I have like an extra 370% increase to uh, melee critical. But yeah, Calavo can do it as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, Najar with the Divine Tempest can also go ahead and do it. A Divine Tempest build with Blazing Chakram because this is also damage vulnerability, 229% uh, increase as well. This was also hitting the 2.1 bill. Varuna can also go ahead and hit the 2.1 bill with Shroud of Dina. Um, again, even if you go ahead and get Fangs of Rash on there, you don't overly spread it because the slash proc isn't coming from uh, Varuna herself, unless there's like a way to go ahead and make that more consistent. But um, Shroud of Dina can also go ahead and do it as well. And then uh, what else is there? There is, uh, we were testing, oh, um, the Gaff can also go ahead and do this. Um, so I'm just going to show you this, the Gaff build here as well. The Gaff can also go ahead and do it. Spectral in there. Spe spectral, spectral. Ho sorry, ho I know I haven't showed you all of these demonstrations right here, right now. I've got enough Twitch clips of them to go ahead and show the evidence. Um, feel free to go to my Twitch if you want to. Um, I didn't mean to knock him down there, but... Six mil, 122. I don't actually know if I need the Rhino Raw with the gaff. No, I don't. So there's the 2.1 build there. And that's also just with like the, the gas setup. Again, it's not a melee setup. So keep that in mind. These are normally like my run and gun setups. Like there's no Fury in here. There's no, well, there is Avenger, but sure, fair enough. But there's no like Fury. It's not, it's not like a particular melee. Like that's a melee setup. If I was to go towards like more of a melee setup with Calovo's Raffle Advance and stuff like that. But anyways, I just want to go ahead and put some more like emphasis on this weapon. If you've not ran this weapon before, it is crazy strong crazy strong um now i don't think i want to ramble anymore i think that's literally to the point um also i don't know if you guys like like videos like this or if you prefer videos like this um i want to go and make more youtube videos just the way that i edit takes a long fucking time to make a video so like a 10 minute video can take about fucking eight hours i'm not even joking uh, i'm always trying to like line stuff up and whatnot so a video like this should hopefully be raw i'm just gonna pay attention to it and see what happens but anyways let me know what you guys think of it um go try to build for yourself go have some fun with it go hit some billions all right um it's crazy I don't think it'll be patched. I don't see any reason why it should be patched. But yeah, do go check it out. It's just a single target weapon. Keep that in mind, all right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hit the like button if you guys did go enjoy it. Share it with a friend if you think someone else will go and benefit from this. And uh, subscribe if you're new, all right? Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>